when he made that historic speech which exposed the Modi Adani corruption in the parliament, we could see how the ministers, MPs uh, who run around and referring this book, that book, went to speaker, went to marshal. They were like completely nervous. They didn't expect this attack. They might be thinking that this corruption would have been hidden forever. But when Rahulji exposed this corruption on the floor of the parliament with evidence, it hit them hard. And the response which attracted across the country next 48 hours, definitely it's a difficult time for Modi government. See, for me, it's a freedom of expression. It's an equality. It's an equal opportunity. It's a transparency. It's an accountability. More than all these things, it's a voice of the people. So now, nothing, these kind of things, is remaining in India. It's a, like undeclared emergency. There is no free press. There is no free institutions which includes election commission, even judiciary under pressure. Even the choices of people, what they have to eat, how do they dress, whom, did, whom do they marry. So everything comes under a political scandal, which is very dangerous. Especially the opposition political parties, basically the voice of the common people has been suppressed within and outside the parliament. All the institutions, which is supposed to be the pillar of democracy, is completely destroyed. It's finally reduced to a one party, one leader rule. This is not what the 70 years, even before the 70 years we have fought for. Indian democracy is one of the proudest democracy in the world. We are the largest democracy in the world. For this democracy, actually, there are many people lay down their lives. The, it's, it takes decades for us to shape this democracy, which we are all proud. Now it's the basic democracy, the basic tenet of the democracy is under attack. Rahul ji relentlessly fighting to safeguard the democracy. He's the lone voice against the Modi government and it's the way it suppresses the democracy is dangerous. It's, this is not uh, Rahul ji's problem or the Congress party's problem anymore. This is the country's problem. If we allowed the same situation prevail, even after this kind of suppression, we might fight for a second independence. We are, in my view, we are heading towards it. See, why it's raising so many questions means there are a lot of uh, hidden things inside. It's not a fair business, eh? The country is on the sale for a one friend, Mr. Modi's friend, Mr. Adani. Whether it's a airport, or ports, or spectrum, or a defense deal, all given to this one man, Adani, his company, which has no previous experience in any of this business. There is no rule has been followed. Wherever Prime Minister goes, generally we expect Prime Minister of the country goes to foreign countries, have a diplomatic relationships. But in this case, Mr. Narendra Modi goes to all other foreign countries, either with Mr. Adani or Mr. Adani going before Mr. Modi or after Mr. Modi's visit and without fail he is getting all the contracts. Sri Lankan Power Corporation Chairman, which Rahulji also put on record in, the, in his parliament speech, testified in front of his parliamentary committee. Indian, with Sri Lankan President told him, Indian Prime Minister, pressurizing him to give a power contract to Mr. Adani. The same, same story in Australia, same story in Bangladesh. So the why Prime Minister is so much interested within India and outside India getting a business to one ban. Is this the job of the Prime Minister of the country? Then Adani has so many shell companies. Rahulji is repeatedly asking, asking this question. 20,000 crores has invested in this shell companies. Obviously this is not the money generated by Mr. Adani. Then whose money it is? Why Prime Minister is so much interested to build a business of a one man? So what is Prime Minister interest? Where this money comes from? This is a very, very important question. Then the, con the company floating all the norms, DRI, SEBI, RBI, 
ഫിനാൻസ് മിനിസ്ട്രി കോമേഴ്സ് മിനിസ്ട്രി ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി മിനിസ്ട്രി ആൾ മിനിസ്ട്രീസ് ആർ സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് വൈ വൈ നരേന്ദ്രമോദി വെരി മച്ച് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ അദാണീസ് ബിസിനസ് വൈ ഹി സെൽസ് ഇന്ത്യ ഫോർ ഹിം ദിസ് എ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് മണി ഈസ് നോട്ട് കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം ദ ആർ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പീപ്പിൾ മണി കോമൺ പീപ്പിൾ ഓർഡിനറി പീപ്പിൾ മിഡിൽ ക്ലാസ് പീപ്പിൾ വിത്ത് എ ഹാർഡ് വർക്ക് ഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഹാർഡ് വർക്ക് they they deposited in lic they deposited in sbi this deposited in other public sector banks public sector undertakings so this is a basic basically people money that they after the hindenburg report the lic alone lost 30000 crore in a day it's it's basically people money the people are the modi's other friends like nirav modi mikhil shakshi nirav modi alone uh, looted the bank 17000 grows and with the help of this modi government he fled from the country so this is basically a robbery happening in a daylight this is basically people money this is a corruption this is a scam so that is what rahul ji is exposing because rahul ji exposing narendra modi corruption his involvement is very clear it's open to see everyone so they are now completely on the back foot so now they think the one voice which is the voice of this country voice of our people voice against the narendra modi government and his corruption they want to silence that voice but they never going to do it in my view i worked with rahul ji for the last 15 years we all started working with him from youth congress in my view he is the same person but what actually made a difference is bjp understood the ability and leadership qualities of rahul ji and he also has a legacy of a gandhi family and he is a, as a leader is individually deeply understand the idea of india he's a very astute politician he's an ideologically aligned committed and uncompromised for probably for the decade he's the lone voice against the rss ideology he always tells us this is not about individuals it's not about hatred it's an about an ideology we are we are the ideology we follow the ideology of gandhi which is peace which is love which is non violence but rss ideology is completely opposite to the congress ideology which is opposite to the country's ideology the hindutva which bjp and rss is propagate has nothing to do with hinduism rahul ji clearly told in one of our conference in udaipur godse is a hindutvadi gandhi is a hindu so rahul ji very sensitively can understand the ideology of rss which is a potential threat to the country and he tr- he he exposed the rss ideology and which is basically against this hinduism hinduism or the indian idea of pluralism secondly rahul ji is a very committed leader he is a very honest leader he can unseat the modi government they understood this more than a decade even before the country understood him so they spent billions of rupees to damage rahul ji's image so they showed rahul ji image in a very poor light purposely they spent so much money they used their government they used their cabinet so then section of media i will not say section of media most of the media become the propaganda machinery to the narendra modi government and bjp agenda to defame rahul ji as a person as a leader as an individual so section of the society has bought that fake image of rahul ji which is spread by bjp and rss but what bharat jodo yatra has brought in openness who really rahul gandhi is as a leader as a human being as an individual millions of people crores of people have walked along with him met him saw him personally uh, listened to his speech interacted with him for the first time in my political life i mean to politics for the last 25 year i'm also a woman in politics so in southeast asian societies a woman we never goes to physically close to an unknown person a man a leader uh, to hug him and hold his hands and cry to him i i walked barajudo yatra throughout from 
Kanyakumari to Kashmir. I've seen in my own eyes. I always believe it's very difficult for men to give a safe space for women. But Rahulji, for Rahulji, it comes very naturally. The women of this country could see it. Then, majorly the youth, the people who walked most with us is mostly women and youth. They are able to see how Rahulji is a very genuine leader, committed leader, how he believes in love, how he is against